Greetings, fellow denizens of Louisville. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid, King of Louisville. Episode 3, Roadkill. How is the weight? 73 up up. Got it. Looking good. Uh, I might want to go in ales and all, if it's easy, just for better water bottles. Because, uh, I like my bourbon bottles. Bourbon bottles is the most bang for your buck carrying water. FYI. But I would like to find bandages to be able to sterilize with the bourbon bottles before I, uh... Yeah. But no. I don't think I'm going to wait for that. So let's pour these on the ground. Very sad for you guys, right? All this poured bourbon. It's for my dead homies. For Gerald and others. Et al. And there we go. I can get rid of this wine bottle. That I had. So I have four bourbon bottles. Uh, two of these are going to be in the duffel. And then two I'll drink from. For the Jesus and Greg. Yeah, exactly. Alright, well this was fruitful. Be on my way. Same section. I think there's a uh, there's a uh, higher chance for you to get um, the sections, the map sections that you are currently in that area. Uh, it is also getting late, so I think what I'll do is I'll um, no, I'll go. I'll I'll push it. I'm almost there. You just totally don't want to get tired. Oh, there is kind of a lot of zombies. I'll leave the van running. My body insulation is a little hot, so I'm a little worried about getting overheated in this fight, but we'll see. My protection is pretty decent. Had 100%, and then upper body is like 27.55. It's not terrible. I wanted to see if this lady had a leather... Nope, her leather jacket's ruined too. I'm trying to get the longer leather jackets, because this the leather jacket I have on now doesn't go past the belt. Which means it's not protecting my lower legs. Got to be very careful of that group across the fence, too. Ooh. One of my only one hits. So here's the tool. The EB tools. The EP, rather. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all those lovely tools. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on, dummy. No, dummy, you're going the wrong way. All right, these three I might as well grab because they're close enough that they're going to bug me anyway. You know, you drink more when overheating. Does it do anything else? Um... Yeah, uh, fatigue recovery and stuff like that. Attack speed, walk speed, combat speed. 
all those things get affected eventually once you're uh, overheating. Of sound body, of sound mind. All right, that group across the fence doesn't seem to be messing with me, so I'm going to take the opportunity to poke in here. Ooh, light footed. I'll take that. Is there someone in the bathroom? I'm going to be over encumbered. The propane tank. A sink. There we go. Yeah, generally bad to be overheated. Yeah. That's why I'm just trying to avoid it. I'm being a little over careful, but whatever. Wood glue. More propane torches. So I'm really work look at oh. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I already got a sledgehammer. Now the sledgehammer meta is a little bit easier to deal with uh, in this current patch because you can you can make um, wooden buildings safe without sledgehammers. But I'd much rather have the sledgehammer than not have one. Yeah, lucky indeed. One thing I haven't been doing is I haven't been marking down what I've found yet. So that's going to be uh, annoying at some point. Having to go through the whole list and be like, all right, what do I have? What do I need? Crowbar. That's what I'm talking about. Another shovel. Alright, so I think the big ticket item would be a sledge, or uh, not a sledge, a um, generator magazine. Would be like, top of my wish list. But well, that is awesome. Awesome haul. I'm going to keep the crowbar on me in my duffel. Crowbars are quite possibly my favorite in the game. Favorite weapon. They're not the strongest, but they last longer than anything. Crowbars are like unbreakable. I'm driving like this to try to keep the van away from this group here, uh, but they might have picked up on me anyway. So there's a lot more in the hardware store, I think, that I didn't loot. Um, but it's getting late. It's almost 8 p.m., so I'm going to head back. Oh, and there's the drowsy. So I might need to dip into my vitamin supply if these zombies follow me all the way back home. getting hungry. I don't see any of them following me anymore. Back to the gun shop? Probably tomorrow, yeah. Am I going to sledge the stairs? You know what? You're right. I probably ought to for security. I don't think that there's going to be any uh, zombies coming up to mess with me. But why risk it? Doesn't make much sense to risk it. Also, it wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to spend a little bit of time tonight um, sewing my clothes. 
because I have some leather strips uh, that I could make into better protection for the clothes that I'm, I have on. So let's see. Denim shirt. Hawaiian shirt I'll take. Uh, I'll need more food. I'll take the fresh food too. Because it's going to decay. Oh, the strawberries are already going stale. I'll eat those now. Leather stripping. Thread. Le sledge. Is there a stash under the stairs? I'll take a look at that. There might, very well might be, that I just never paid attention to. Nope. But I think that's where it can spawn. So the, the other way to remove, um, to remove, to, to make things zombie safe is, uh, you can remove these floors, the wooden floors without, um, without a sledgehammer. You can't do that in metal buildings, but in wooden buildings, it's possible. Just getting rid of the railings for looks. Oh, something's messing with my window. I think that's next door, though. But I don't like zombies that close to me. I like my personal space. Yep. Oh! Next door was a uh, survivor building. So that's going to be a stash house with, like, stuff. Definitely a point of interest that I should check out. My luck, man. Oh, that zombie I just killed probably had a leather jacket that was worth... Nope, never mind, it's not... It's not a duster, it's just a jacket. Unfortunately, I'm tired and panicked. So my damage is in the dumps. There we go. Uh, well, if... I'm already sort of here, right? I'm already kind of messing about past my uh, sleep hour. But the thing is, these agitated zombies are just going to mess with my... my home next door. So I might as well take care of them now. So I'm going to vitamin up, smoke up, and get ready to fight them. Hello. Unfortunately, despite the fact that it took like 15 vitamins, I'm still tired. Oh, that was probably good. A good jacket until I uh, hacked him with that. Already knew that location. Come on, vitamins. Alright, I took all my vitamins and I'm still tired. I do have spare vitamins in my um, pouch, though, that I could dip into. There we go. I'm not tired for once. Which is good, because I think the zombies in the survivor house just freed themselves. Make sure when you're near a survivor house to check for, like, stuff on them, too, because they typically have, well, not typically, but they can have uh, special uh, stuff on them, like uh, like good clothing or weapons or whatever.
Okay, staying out way past my bed time. I think the uh, the threat of the zombies in this survivor house messing with my house is zero now because they're dead. So I'll go to sleep and I'll check out the the survivor house tomorrow morning. Nice. Man, I'm getting phenomenal luck. I'm super, super nervous as a result. <laughs> when things are going well, it's reason to be nervous. So I'm uh, I'm not quitting. What I'm doing is I'm just backing up the save just in case, you know, paranoia and all. I think you guys can probably understand that. Whether or not I, I even consider safe scumming uh, will be left up to you. But uh, I'd, I'd rather have the opportunity to do so if I need to. So I'll be done with that in like three seconds. Callie, thank you for the resub. And keep Austin, thank you for the follow. Can the heli, like, not show up for some reason? And it comes weeks or months later? No, it's going to show up in the first... Uh, it's it's not going to take months to show up. Maybe weeks, but not months. Alright, so instead of doing the, uh, the tailoring, because I took more time than I had intended... Uh... I'm just going to put the clothing back. Also, my weight is... No, no, keep the scissors. My weight is correct now, so I'm uh, I'm going to eat a little bit healthier now. Because I'm 75 plus plus, so I'm going to be 76 kilos tomorrow or the next day. So, healthy food from here on out until my weight stabilizes. All right, we are good to go into the survivor house. Okay, there is a rather large horde with some firemen up the road. Noted. I shouldn't have curtained that. Jumping through a curtained window is sketchy. Uh, we got a baseball bat, but it's basically broken. I hear some growling, so I know there's zombies around. What I don't have yet is, like, a can opener. Pretty simple item to need. Crafted spears. They look in pretty good... One of them is in pretty good condition. I'll grab it. Whoever crafted them was, a, I think, a pretty good uh, uh, carpenter. All right, going up. What's my loot settings? Everything is just apocalypse. I don't think I'm alone up here. There's another zombie in one of these rooms. Availed yourself. Ooh, spare gloves. Well, I'm not entirely sure why this was a survivor house. I mean, it has some canned goods, but nothing other than, like, the baseball bat in the drawer. Like, nothing here shouts, I've prepared for the apocalypse. I guess bullets? Kind of a, a bummer of a survivor house so far. I'll look under the floorboards once the house is clear. Do I, uh... Little search mode. 
No, search mode is coming up dry. Oh, if you're wondering if that had any loot, now you have the answer. Uh, so next up, head to the gun store. Oh, no, that's on the ground. Uh. I don't really need that crafted spear. I'll check out the, uh, the fire truck, too, for spare axes before I head to the gun store. I just don't want to piss off the firemen over there. One of them has a duffel, I think. I thought I saw a duffel. This truck looks pretty banged up, though. Oh yeah, it's, it's toast. It's also locked. Come on, smash. Alright, Maldra map. I already have Maldra, right? There was an axe. And some firefighter pants. So I'm going to keep the axe in my um, my bag as a backup. I might at some point... You know what? I'm going to switch to crowbar. I think if I want to get a better leather jacket, I need to stop shredding clothing. Sharp weapons shred clothing. Blunt weapons don't. So... This axe that I've been using will go into the duffel, and then this axe will go into the van. Don't need to be carrying sheet ropes with me anymore. I think the firefighter pants are probably too insulating, and I'll overheat if I use them. That's why I'm ditching them. They're really, really, really good for protection, but they're too hot. They're hot pants, man. Way too hot. Okay, I am also going to mark down... Uh this outpost wait i need a blue pen well i thought i had my pens on me oh did i i ditched them how'd that happen they were favorited uh oh uh oh Sometimes when you go around the corner, like I just did, some of the zombies will uh, get attracted to the windows and not path correctly to you, allowing you to thin out the crowd a little bit. Doesn't always work. I don't know where this crowd came from, but I don't like it. Neither does Louie, he is swinging for the fences now. Which is good. So there was a lot of them. I still hear more. Oh, that might be a leather jacket I could wear. On that one.
It was. Terrific. Make sure I check them for anything worth anything. Oh, I gave up my scissors too. Man, my favorite stuff did not work, huh? No, no, my scissors are right there. Why can't I, uh, why can't I tear my, my, uh, iron rodent? Because it's, oh, it's favorited. Icefire, thank you for the reset. All right. Now I should be able to get to the gun store. Barring... Oh, no, there's some more zombies in on their way here. Always more company. All right, what do you want? I probably have enough leather for now. Let's all stop shredding. I still hear more zombies. I don't know where they're coming from, but... There she is. Oh, and there's a group up here, too. Just a quick hug. I don't want all four at once, just one or two is fine. Don't forget to check the weather report. Will do. Oh, Riverside, that's the last map I needed. Delicious. I think I have the maps all filled in now for outside of Louisville. Just not that I need them, because again, I'm restricted to Louisville only. It just, I like them. Perfect. Is that really Rosewood? Uh, I guess it is. I felt like Rosewood was further west than that. Uh, there is at least one or two zombies right outside of the gun store. Noted. Did anyone notice or remember if in the hardware store there was hand axes? I don't recall there being hand axes, but I would very much like a hand axe in my belt loop because that's a really good backup weapon. All right, let's go. Uh, I might have missed the top of the hour weather report, but I'll try to grab it. See if I can't catch the tail end. No, I, I missed it. So I'll catch it at 11. You can see the technique I've been using, which is to crouch and then whisper at the zombies. And then once I pull one or two away, uncrouch because you can't stealth. You don't build up um, stealth skills when you're standing and you're seen. You only build up stealth skills if nobody knows where you are, essentially. Um, yeah. Oh, what do you have on your back? Is that a shotgun? Yeah, it's a shotgun. I don't really care. I'm about to go into a gun store. Well, I don't need 
one dude's shotgun. I'm about to have all shotguns. After this, I think my intention is to head to a spot I want to hole up in. Which is crazy, because it's not close to where I am. It's going to be a hell of a drive. But that's what I'm planning on doing. What are my thoughts about zombies playing dead? <sighs> well, I'm not looting the gun store. Because, uh... Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't I already step into the gun store? Like, like, wasn't I already inside? <laughs> like, what, what the heck? They armed it since I had left? All right, uh, so change of plans. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, all right, change of plans. Head to a warehouse. Stupid ADT security zombies, right? Alright, I want to drive uh, far enough away from these guys and then bring up my uh, vehicle health overlay. So I can track vehicle health as I drive. So I know if I'm going to have a, a flat tire or whatever. Look at all of them heading towards that house alarm. It's moving every zombie within like half a mile. Jeez. And that's why I didn't stick around. Because, uh, screw that noise. I ate food for the day. Alright, so once th these numbers thin out a little bit, I will, uh... I'll pop out of the car and grab the vehicle health overlay. God, did I... Where's my cigarette? Oh, really? I even ditched the cigarettes. Jeez Louise, they're in the trunk. Can you use alarms for explosive booby traps? Uh, yeah. I guess you could. Would I? No, I, I don't think I would, but uh, it's hypothetically possible. Alright, I didn't manage to get the... The, uh, the vehicle overlay up before the zombies got close, but I did get my cigarettes at least. Okay, there we go. Got the weapon, my crowbar on my back, because obviously sledgehammers are a terrible everyday weapon. Hey, overlay. All right, there we go. Cute that you would hide. All right, there we go. There's the vehicle overlay. And on our way. So I got to figure out exactly where I am going. Uh, I know where I am. So one, two. So I'm going to take a right at the next major intersection, which is just after the train tracks. And you'll see them coming up. I haven't paid attention to the weather yet, because I've been so busy dealing with the house alarm. So I should also keep an eye on that. So not here. Moderate wind. Tomorrow is temperate. Not too warm. Clear skies. Good. Oh, a shovel.
No mention of a chopper, which is good. Or water or power shutoffs. So I have more time to deal with water and power, which is great. Because I don't know how to use a generator. And I don't know how to make rain barrels, so... The longer the game gives me on that, the better. So here's the train tracks. So it's the next major intersection. I'll be taking a right. Right here. Whoa, Nelly. Sorry, lady. Got in my way. All right, and then from here, I got to work out exactly how far up I'm going. Uh... I'm going pretty much until the water. So I just follow this road for a very, very death-defying long time. But I'm gonna keep cool as a cucumber during this, this drive here. It's weird that my overlay is, like, missing. Uh, I don't have my speedometer or HUD up because I hit it and hopped back in the in the van. And there's kind of not an opportunity for me to stop and fix that. <laughs> I can check my fuel from uh, this overlay, though. I have so much fuel, it's not a concern at all. Getting hungry. I don't think I have food up here. Nope. Alright. Time to be hungry. My weight, though, should be... I should be losing the underweight soon. Yep, 76. I'm not underweight anymore. So, I have more melee damage as a result. And I don't trip as often. And I can climb fences better. Thank you, junk food. Oh, I don't recall seeing this. Uh... Hang on, I'm not sure what to do here. Where am I? So this is a gas station. So this is the Gigamart station. Uh, I could take a left here. And then take a right. I've got a plan, FYI. So I have a a destination in mind. Uh, and I don't think the destination is on the map, because my destination is like here-ish. But you can kind of see where I've been driving. Starting to thin out here. Maybe I can get my uh, overlays back up. There it is. Now I can have my speedometer that was, for whatever reason, missing from before. It was like I was in the passenger seat, but somehow driving still. Uh, so from this road, I am driving until. Uh, sort of until it ends. And that's roughly where I want to be. So that's very, very easy. I might have to use, depending on how, how many zombies are at my destination, I may have to use this van as a battering ram of sorts. I hope not, because it's in great condition. I'd like to keep it that way. But if there's swarms where I'm headed, uh, my health is prioritized over a van. I can fix a van. I can't fix me. These stashes are randomized each playthrough. So the annotated maps that you have are totally random. 
survivor survivor houses are random. Everything is pretty much randomized. Radio station, the emergency broadcast station is randomized. No, 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 no. Aw, you touched. All right, it's, uh, I'm getting pretty close to my destination and it's starting to look thick. So I may have to do some Carmageddoning. So here's a gas station. Uh, I want to drive maybe like two blocks up. So it's not time to start running them over. Yet. Now it's time to start thinking about smushing now that I'm at Perfect Potato Co. I love you, Van. This is far beyond uh, Louis' ability to melee. So I'm going to use this uh, parking lot as a as a method of mass zombie deletion. And this van is definitely going to be trashed by the time I'm done. But there was no way that I was going to be able to kill well, 100 zombies. Mano a mano. That's a death sentence. What I'm trying to do is minimize the damage to the front hood and also the uh, as a as a result of the engine block. The hood is down to 40 oh shoot 43% I just ruined that. But these zombies are taking damage. They're they're going to go down eventually. What I'm trying to do is just not to get swarmed. I don't want them to get in front of the van so that I can keep smashing. Because as soon as they pile up in front, um, the van slows down and the zombies get to do some real damage to me. All right, trunk's down to 24%, so I'm never going to be able to put stuff back in this trunk. Seventeen percent, but the hood and the engine block are still holding pretty nicely, which is the important bit. Hey, maybe this um, this sprint van here will have uh, keys. The other thing I'm keeping an eye on is tire health, but my tires are still pretty green. I wish I had food on me. I swear I put cereal in my backpack. But I guess I didn't. I have coffee, but it's not an appropriate time to drink coffee. So even this um, slow bump... Oh, trunk's gone. Even the slow bumps that I'm uh, getting in still does a little bit of damage. But I think it's it's probably in my best interest for me to just like cut through the edges of the crowd rather than smash into the crowd into the middle. I think I'm gonna get more kills that way. So I'm gonna try to uh, do reverse donuts around the edge of the group, which takes a little bit. Oh no, takes more finesse than I'm not capable of. Hood's down to 21 percent, but the engine's at 80. Six, so it's gonna take a while for the engine to die on me. I 
And all the ones that are crawling are gonna be really easy to finish off. And this commotion is likely to pull in most of the zombies that are in the nearby area, which means that once I'm done, uh, I'll have relative safety in the immediate vicinity, which is helpful. All right, so hood's down to 15%. Gotta be cautious of the hood now. Another thing I could do is just drive away and have them follow me and then circle back, like either on foot or some somehow not having them follow. This is working. All right, so Hood's gone. I need to keep a close eye on engine health now because there's nothing protecting the engine block. I'm hearing a lot of squishing, though. That's good noises. Uh-oh. That was not good. One of the issues that I have with Zomboid is, like, when there's a lot of zombies on the screen, like, even powerful computers will start to chunk. Where, like, things get slow. And it gets actually challenging to control the game and to steer and everything else. Kind of running into that now where the input inputs are a little laggy. I'd say about a third done, though. Yeah, they need to optimize for better hordes. Yeah, it's probably, I guess, a limitation, uh, you know, wild guess. It's kind of a limitation of Java, the engine that they built it on. So I don't know if there's short of building the game in a different engine, I think they're kind of stuck. You know, it's the same as like the suboptimal optimization of Kenshi. Well, it's built on Ogre engine. It's just the best that Ogre engine can handle. Which is why Kenshi 2 is going to be uh, on a different engine instead. Okay, I think the horde is thinned out enough that I can actually just reverse through it and get some meaningful damage in without getting hung up, which is good. Oh yeah, that was like 10 squishes. Front left tire is not looking amazing, but it's not going to pop at me anytime soon. There should be added damage when you pin them between your car and another car. I mean, I, that'd be hard to code, but... Would be a nice feature. And then I'm going to have a very limited um, uh, ability to... Mono a mono these guys because I'm starting to get drowsy and I'm definitely highly panicked. Yeah, the van's the real hero. I'm glad I had such a healthy vehicle for this, because if it was a banged up if it was that banged up pink Nyla that I had, oh god. I'd be done for. One of the funny things is I keep doing damage to the gas tank enough that my uh, gas tank meter reads is full because the capacity, the total capacity keeps dropping. And I'm still, it still holds, you know, 38 gallons or whatever, but it started at 59. Okay, we're almost through. Engine is still in the green, which is a miracle.
And you can see my driving's gotten better because there's less corpses for me to have to calculate on my computer, which allows me to do way more effective maneuvering. So I think the group that's coming in now are uh, zombies that were stuck behind windows and doors, hearing all the commotion, and they finally broke through those windows and doors to join me. Wands, thank you for the resup. Welcome to the Carmageddon. Uh, what was that? Oh, that was my windshield. Okay, no problem. As long as it's not driver's side window. Driver's side window would be a dangerous one to lose, because then they could reach in and harm me. And that's actually a current problem that a lot of new players, or players unfamiliar with this current patch have, is if you get your car and you drive immediately, you don't spend the time to close the driver door, so it will look closed, but it's not actually closed. It's open ajar, and it makes you very vulnerable to zombies uh, trying to grab you through the quote-unquote open door. So when you get in a car, you should um, not immediately pedal to the metal if you can help it, and you should hear the thud of the door closing uh, to indicate that the door is actually closed, because I don't think there's an actual uh, visual cue. It's auditory. So if you're a deaf player, uh, it's probably pretty hard to tell whether the door's closed or not. Alright, front left tire's looking real bad. Back. Alright, my tire's basically done for. I'm gonna have a tire pop in a second. But it's fine. I've killed what I've needed to kill. And then I can eat my, um coffee if I need to do fighting for the uh, energy boost. Oh, my, uh, my gas tank's broken, so I'm going to be leaking fuel very, very rapidly. So this car is dead. Which means I should park uh, kind of where I want it, because I'm not going to be able to move it pretty soon. Uh, so that means I am going to end up eating the coffee. I will eat half of it. And then get ready to go on on foot. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell and stay safe out there, my fellow zombie slayers.